was really close. Like, you could see how little stamina I had, and somehow I was still able to execute it and be safe. That's cool. Hello everyone, welcome back again to another video of Genshin Impact. We're back again, as you can see. And if I remember correctly, uh, we've been told we need to look at the ballista. Which, for those of you who don't know, a ballista is a giant weapon typically designed to shoot giant things in open areas or out of the sky. How do you operate this thing? Just think how much strength you would need. Uh. It is currently inoperable in any case. This device is broken. Oh, what? It broke? After millennia of wear and tear, even Adepti contraptions are difficult to maintain. Okay. So what are we gonna do? Quick, Mr. Zhongli, use your unlimited high society knowledge powers! Hmm. Uh... You almost make it sound like I'm some sort of bourgeois parasite whose only utility lies in providing quaint pieces of trivia on demand. That's um. it. Let me think for a moment. Ah, yes. Spare parts were made for the Guizhong Ballista when it was first built, in case it was damaged in battle. As I recall, there is a military supply post from that period somewhere inside the pass. If we can retrieve okay. the spare parts from where they are stored, we may be able to repair the Guizhong Ballista. Okay. One just needs to understand the basic working principles of the device. So, what you're saying is that you actually understand the working principles? I have a smattering of knowledge on the topic. With the parts in hand, I could at least tinker with it. Okay. We need the parts. Chief spare parts. Well, the parts are in here. So I kind of just need to, like, what? Where is that supply post? Fly in here. Take materials. Hang on, there's, like, stuff in the chests. I want this. What do we got in here? Is this an answer from this world? A whole bag of goodies. Right, hang on. This might take a while. These parts look useful. One moment. I will try to repair the device. It is okay. done. The Guizhong wow, Ballista that was fast. What the intricately hell? intricately designed than I thought. Ooh. Now how do we turn it on? It's easy uh. enough. We simply need to do this. Look. It even has a scope. Over here we have... Oh, I can't nothing. actually control it. That's a and bit of a shame. There, Hey, just what do you think you're doing? Um. So you fixed up this turret because you're planning to do what exactly? Not a turret, a Guizhong ballista. I uh, also. I don't think these guys are gonna like the you fact you're just question. gonna like talk. It's just good manners. <laughs> are you blind or something? You're looking at the leader of the treasure hoarders, old man. This area is supposed to be chock full of hidden treasures. But you can't get anywhere near them with this thing keeping watch. <laughs> it might look like any other mechanical device, but trust me, it's got a mind of its own. Last time we approached the mountain, it nearly skewered one of our guys. A few of us risked our lives to disarm it, which amazingly we managed. And then we turn our backs for two seconds, and you've already gone and repaired it! The next thing you'll be repairing is your faces, and that's if you get out of this alive! Tut tut. Vandalizing the legacy of an adeptus for selfish gain. Disgraceful behavior. It is not we who need reprimanding, but you. Okay. Right, well, let me guess. We're gonna have to fight a bunch of bad guys. Who would have guessed it? Alright. Let us see exactly. I don't exactly want to get. Um... Emerge right now. Oh, God. Emerge. You get over there, or fall off. You get over here. Oh yeah, the man's hitting me with a shovel. Yeah. Right. Okay, well, that was quite easy. Defeat the treasure hoarders. Did that guy survive down there? He did. Now he's dead. 
Oh, more opponents incoming. Hi. Yes. Say cheese. Okay. Um, uh, how do we want to do this? Is that all? No, we got plenty of stuff to do. Shadows of things. Hello. Come on, then. This is like really easy. Right. You go off the edge. You go off the edge. Now just 1v1, bro. I don't need to, man. Oh. Well, that was easy. Nailed it. Easy. Uh, these lowlifes didn't know who they were messing with. Troubling ourselves over this rabble is not worth the time. We should focus on our contract with Chi Chi. Okay. Oh, yeah. But where's our coca goat? A search using the Guizhong Ballista revealed no significant life forms nearby, save for the usual wildlife. Okay. What's more, a contraption built using Adeptus technology should have no trouble detecting an Adepta beast, as Chi Chi put it. Ah. Uh, which means. Um, uh, I'm just not going to say anything. Go that far. We did something positive, right? Yeah, we murdered a bunch of people. Sounds we good. We won't solve anything while standing here and racking our brains. Let's return to Boo Boo Pharmacy, explain that we could not find a cocoa goat, and review our next step. Good idea. We did our best, and that's what counts. Nah. Uh, okay, fair enough then. If we're gonna go that way. Find you. Right, so we need to go all the way back. Yo, bro, we literally went off on a tangent. Alright, hello. We uh, couldn't find your goat, whatever Forgive it's called. Us. We were unable to fulfill our end of the contract. We found no trace of the Coco Goat Adepta Beast of which you speak. <sighs> what a disappointment. Don't worry about it. But I feel very disappointed. Oh, poor Chi Chi. Why does Paimon feel so guilty all of a sudden? What do you need? What do you Coco need the goat, goat for? milk is tasty. So tasty. Much better than normal goat milk. Only an Adepta Beast could make such tasty milk. Right. I'm sorry. I have a poor memory. I cannot remember the name of the milk. That's why I wrote it down. Where did I put it? Ah, here. This is the name. Coconut oh my milk. god, are you serious? Coconut milk. Um... <sighs> a coconut. <laughs> are you serious? I owe you both an apology. I hastily agreed to what appeared to be an equitable agreement with this zombie child. When perhaps I should have undertaken further due diligence. We had to look for a coconut. Never mind, Zhongli. You didn't know. As the Leeward proverb goes, all things are random and... Um... So how are you supposed to predict anything? Literally no one could have seen this coming. Excuse me, everyone. Did Chi-Chi say a bad thing? Um... Well... Oh. But Paimon's gonna leave the job of shattering this poor kiddo's world to you. Okay, well, uh, it all begins with the fruit of the coconut tree. No. <laughs> Im impossible. No. Seems Chi Chi took this pretty hard. They all need to grow up sometime. <laughs> no, 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 no. Let's, let's, let's be a little bit nice. <laughs> Someone learnt a valuable life lesson today, then. Thank you all for looking after my little Chi-Chi. Huh? Might I ask who is you? Who is oh, you? How rude of me. Oh, man's I'm a, by man's a boss grass of dude. the Boo Boo okay. Pharmacy. Hi, man, that Chi-Chi was the boss. 
Turns out it's some wacko who wears medicinal ingredients around his neck. What a sorry state of affairs. This little mascot is even more of a simpleton than Chi-Chi. Ah, the medicine... The snake is speaking! I'm sorry, my mouth is like wide open. The, the snake speaks... A snake. You know what? Nothing in any way surprises me. I prefer to stay silent. But faced with strangers, I must speak, lest you mistake me for an escapee from the medicine cabinet, for I am a living, breathing serpent! <laughs> Don't mind Chung Shung. She's a good girl, really. He's as got a snake three, as a necklace. Communal chaos causing with Chi Chi aside, what business brings you here? Do you sell everlasting incense in this fine establishment? Everlasting incense? Why, of course we do. Cool. Can we have yes. some, please? Things are finally starting to come together. <sighs> Three million more. Top quality. Guaranteed. Are you serious? Come on, man. You might as well rob the golden oh, house. Too bad the cheating have taken it over for now. Security will be tighter than usual. Hmm. Three million. Oh, no. An innocuous number in and of itself, though practically speaking, it could be a hard sum to come by. It's Maybe. a crazy number. We'd never be able to make that much more. And as for Mr. Zhang Li, he's around three million short. <laughs> this is correct. No shame. What do, we <laughs> do Is this the part where we go crawling back to child? Oh god, that's going to be a little bit awkward as well, isn't it? Especially after... <laughs> <laughs> Coco goat, Coco goat. Go <laughs> my sides hurt. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe you fell for that. Hey, less laughter, more sympathy. I'm sorry, what? I'm almost in tears over here. Uh, thank you. That was the best laugh I've had in a long time. In return, I'm more than happy to sort out this mess you've managed to get yourselves into. What? Excuse me, sir. Doctor buys you, isn't it? Truly honored. I'm Child, one of the Fatui Harbingers. Forgive uh. my audacity, but I see a great many opportunities for us to collaborate in the future. If Boo Boo Pharmacy needed a stable supply of, say, coconut milk, the <laughs> Fatui could help by setting up a robust and speedy distribution network. Strange. Um. I knew the Fatui infiltrated businesses with seductive deals, but so much fuss over coconut milk? Coconut milk. Baiju, quick. Chi Chi wants coconut milk. <laughs> what yes, is going course, on? Chi Chi, anything you want. Thank you, child. I look forward to a successful collaboration in the future. I can give you a discount on that everlasting incense. Oh too. my god. Let's say two million nine hundred and ninety thousand mora. You may as well pay three million if you can afford that. Two million nine hundred and ninety thousand. Oh my also god. Also an innocuous number in and of itself. Though practically speaking, it is a whole ten thousand less than the original sum of But it's million. still two million. Well, now that this is settled, we must head back to Yujing Terrace. Mr. Child, Dr. Baiju, little Miss Chi Chi, see you soon. Wait, how are we going to get the... Where is this money coming from? What? That lot is an absolute riot. Honestly, I can't remember the last time I laughed so hard. So, you've been eavesdropping, I hope. What have I missed? Yes, Master Child. They spoke of the Qixing taking the Golden House. Well, well, well. No. Ming Guang and her Qixing cronies. What else would they be hiding in the Golden House, if not the Exuvia? That's not I a good sign. I apologize, but I warned you, didn't I? As the old Leo is saying goes, the walls have ears. He's a bad guy, isn't he? he he's the bad guy because the real him has a different name. Who calls themselves Child, anyway? Like, his other name sounds a lot more better. It's a bit of a shame that they gave us that little cutscene of them, like, actually, I mean, we already knew they were the bad guys, I mean, come on, like, it is not 
that discreet. But at the same time, it was like, it has like pretty much confirmed that he has ill intentions. Like, you know, unless he's been told to do it by someone else otherwise. But I don't know. Well, as it stands, we've hired helpers and we've acquired the everlasting incense. The completion of our preparations is not far off. Cool. Well, this has been going on for so long. We need, needs to move. Come on, we need to move well, forward. Traveler, have you gained anything from our adventure so far? It's been really odd. odd. I'm not sure if we've been living the high life. Or ex I'm not sure. Yeah. <laughs> Which is it, I wonder? The questions that such travels raise are ever so complicated. Well, I'll leave you to ruminate over it yourself. As to remuneration for your help, I've decided yeah. to treat you to a meal. Oh, ah, uh, yes, don't whoa, worry. Whoa, 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 I didn't I get the chance to, to bring the Mora this time. make a decision Tonight, there. I shall take you both to an old hole in the wall, praised throughout Lyra. Okay. Hole in the wall? As in a cool restaurant? Um. <laughs> Indeed. Let us meet near the harbor at third round knockout. Huh? The long goodbye. What? Wait until six o'clock to eleven. All right. Say less. Say less. I have the power of time on my side. We. Cool. Eight fifty-nine. You like to see it. Right. Go to third round knockout. Where is that? Is that over here somewhere? Hello. I guess I'll take a seat. How's it going? Uh, you're here. There's no need to order. I've already done so. Third oh, wow, round okay. knockout is not for lightweights, like those taverns in Mondstadt. Here, the owner does not take such unorthodox orders as fruit juice. So does this mean I can order wine this time? I ordered some <laughs> wine-fermented sweet rice balls for you, if that counts. I guess I should if have expected this. If it is to this. your liking, dear customers, I shall continue the tale of Lady Ningguan's Jade Chamber. Oh, God. Hey, there's even a storyteller here. Great atmosphere. Great, we're going to get through some Besides lore. Besides fine wine, the excellent ambiance is the reason why this place is so well loved. But okay. when I say ambiance, I refer to a different sort from the one the Tevat Travel Guide uses to judge other establishments. As okay. you all know, High above the land of Lyra lies a pavilion in the clouds, a palace in the mist. Okay. What does it mean to have all-seeing eyes? This, my friends, Lady Ningguan's masterwork that bridges earth and sky. I'll get more Imagine <laughs> the weather is clear okay. and you gaze down from the deck on the world below. Okay. Behold, the glorious sights of Lyra. This? Stretching out why why are you giving me this scene? Like why, why am I seeing that? Oh great. They say that when Lady Ningguang ponders in Wait, is that place, the thing that's in the sky? She retreats to her jade chamber. It's the none, thing in this. But her three closest confidants in tow. Why okay. brings she these trusted three to see I don't know. sources, dig through documents? Looking for information. Huh? Piece by piece, facts and figures paint a picture on the walls of the chamber. But okay. well before the wall is filled, Lady Ningguang's mind is made up. Oh. They try to find Having something made her and then call, just. She has every last document shredded, and whoosh! She scatters the shavings out her window. Okay, is this is this something I should uh, take into mind? How they billow in the wind like a sudden swirling blizzard. As the fragments fall, traces of text flicker before the eyes of the merchants of Liyue, like ink stains and white snow. The okay. saying goes, the rarest treasures in the land are the words brought by the paper snow. For the okay. words of the Tianquan, of the power to move mountains and all throughout the land know it.
You know, I gonna be honest, I did not understand a single These word from that. <laughs> and yet they guide Lady Ningguang's uh, hand. Such is their value. Are we sure? Like it's so easy to just throw paper out the window. Anyone Merely can do grasping it. Grasping one or two of them will surely gift you a fragment of her wisdom, enough to stay a step or two ahead of your peers. Okay. Tianchuan Ningguang. Feels like we're hearing this name a lot. I mean, I think we Maybe saw this woman in the beginning stages her, when everything just came out of the woodwork. Her. She's most likely the one who hid the Exuvia, and we saw her at the Rite of Dissension. There you go, I just said that. Huh. Paimon wonders what sort of person she is. At last Maybe. I have found you. You who returned from Juayun Karst. Um... We're hearing voices. We gotta go. Wait, I am not with the Millilith, nor am I here to claim your bounty. However, uh -huh. I am an emissary of the Leo Achising. My name is Ganyu, secretary at the Yua High Pavilion, and I have come specifically to meet you. Hello, emissary. Well, in concrete terms, Why are you on the roof? <laughs> I am a corporate secretary. These are the questions Qixing. I need answered. At the moment, I am serving as Lady Ningguang's special emissary. Oh, great. Ningguang sent you? We were literally just talking about her. My apologies, you who have returned from Jiayun Karst. I am duty-bound and cannot extend my courtesy to you in full. But I have with me a letter from Lady Ningguang. She extends a formal invitation to you in her capacity as Tianquan. She invites you to her palace in the sky. And convenience! Such convenience! Like, honestly. Lady Ningguang said this. Invite him to come here. I wish to meet him. At the okay. Jade Chamber... Together, we shall snip every one of these entwining dark threads. Okay, fair enough. Ooh. And with that, the emissary who called herself Ganyu just disappeared. Huh, interesting. But we've received an invitation from the Leo Chising. Paimon still can't believe it. My guys just sat there like, oh god, what are we going to get ourselves into now? I always mind my manners. <laughs> An invitation to visit the Jade Chamber is a rare honor indeed. Yeah, this guy... You best be on your way now. But don't forget about the rite of parting. Once you've finished at the Jade Chamber, meet me at Dihua Marsh. Don't worry! Okay. Don't forget! Dihua Marsh. We'll see you there! Cool. A new star approaches. Ooh. Farewell, I can't you know, speak to miss you. Memory of immovable crystals. Um, the floating palace, which is there, up there. Well, we're going to go in there in the next episode. So until we are graced with a chance to meet again, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell. And until the next time, where we will be going, like, up that thing somehow, somewhere. I don't exactly know how. Is it going to come down like some sort of spaceship? Is it going to dock? That's kind of cool. I am interesting to see. Things are now starting to pick up now, so... But we will hopefully have more truth next time. So, until then...